Well, guys, today we are doing our farm build. This has been a long time coming. We have over $11 million in the bank, and it's time for us to say goodbye to our little, little silage farm that we've got going on here and move along to something much grander. Are you guys ready for this? Let me, uh, well, you know what? We gotta go for a quick cruise. Yeah, I, I don't know about you guys, but what's the first thing you would buy? when you end up becoming a millionaire. I mean, not not to brag, but uh, I, I don't think there's any better way than showing up in a helicopter to really get yourself noticed, right? I mean, really? <laughs> yeah, we, 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 the first thing we bought, a helicopter, of course it is. So let me give you a tour of what we got planned here on Western Wild. I mean, at least I hope it's gonna be something. I got plans here and we'll see how this works out for us. But we've got 11 million bucks. I planned to have 10 million dollars. And to be perfectly honest, I can't believe how quickly we managed to do this. I mean, we're only on year five right now. We've got five years of being the silage king, the silage king on Western Wilds. And uh, it's it's proven pretty fruitful. I mean, yeah, we've, we've really only got the one field that we've worried about for the most part. We've made it into one giant field. That's been enough to make over 5,000 bales and, well, really pay for what we want to do next. And, well, this is what we want to do next, right ahead of us. We want to restore the old ranch to more than its former glory, guys. I mean, this is this is an old dilapidated ranch here. I think it's time we tear absolutely everything down in here and really, really make it something new. Go to town and we'll clean it all out and rebuild this to something that's completely different and unrecognizable and much, well, much better. In fact, one of the things that kind of bugs me is this whole canal system. I want to get rid of this canal system. I want to change this canal system, at least in here. I want to make it better and make it more interesting. Right now, it's it's kind of, well, it just kind of goes right through this area. Kind of boring. We need to fix that as well. The way this layout is in this farm right now, this is not going to work for us. We're going to need to change all the way this works right now. I mean, they got a silo system kind of right there. The house over in the corner here. This is all going to change, guys. We're going to knock all of this down. So... Um, you know what? Let's just get started with this. I don't think there's any point in messing around. We're going to start building right now. Just make sure I don't hit any power lines on the way down. Sit her down nice and gently. There we go. Perfect. All right, guys. So in order to get started building this place, we need to tear all of this down. This is my plan. Of course, the entryway is still going to stay here. Everything's coming down, though, here. All this, all the wood. We're going to rebuild all this. Down on this corner right here, I'm thinking maybe silo system down here. Clean all this out. I think that's what we're going to do. Silo system. Pretty much right over here. Now, back corner, we're probably going to put our main... Well, we'll have one barn probably over there. Maybe another smaller barn here. But this corner, once we move all these old animal pens out of here, this, I think, could become where our house is going to be. Now, we're going to need to change this a little bit. I want to make this a little bit more grandeur. You can... I got a plan. It's, um... It's going to be nice. It's going to be more than what this could possibly be right now. So, we need to clean all this out. And then put our house, I think it's going to be kind of over in this corner, but it's going to end up taking up probably a lot of this land right here. And then as we kind of go back up towards the, the main house, of course, this old silo is coming down. We'll probably have some shops up in here. I think our main shop will be either like right where the house is now or on this side, maybe some more shops across this back corner as well. Now you're saying, Clutch, what about the animals? Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry your heads. I've got you. I got you covered on the animals. I think this far pasture, we're going to do something with, well, with the river, the, 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 the canal, the irrigation canal. We're going to do something about this and probably put something on the far side. I think all our animals can go over there and it'll be somewhat separated from the house that way. And then they can have our pastures on that far side. Pick it up what I'm throwing down. Good. Let's get started here. You know what? You got to clean this place up before you can do anything else. Let's do that. All right. Trusty chainsaw. First off, power lines going through the middle. We don't want any of them. Let's get rid of these guys. Cut her nice and low. Boom. Loose scrap. Gone. All right. Last one here is for getting rid of all the trees. I want the trees. The trees look pretty, kind of, but most of the trees. We're going to get rid of some trees, but for the most part, trees are going to stay. Okay. So while I don't want to get rid of all the trees, definitely don't want to get rid of them all. I do want to get rid of just a few of these and... Is there really any better way than with a T-Rex? I think uh, the T-Rex is going to help us take care of that. Something something fierce. We'll just get this down here, unload her, and um, let's go knock down some trees, shall we? So this here, whole area down by the old barn and the old, is like a greenhouse there. This is the area I want this completely cleared out because we're gonna, we got a big silo system I want to put in here. So 
Let's uh, unfold the pipe first, even though we don't really worry about it. Let's do that and then clean all of this out. Get rid of all these trees, all everything in here that's going to cause us any grief. And then we can get in here with uh, some building. And like I said, the silo system, probably about a million dollar silo system we'll probably put in here. That's going to be the biggest expense. It's really the silo system. So we'll get that fired up, get that done right off the bat. And then from there, we'll see what we need for other areas. Because I'm thinking like over in that corner, we may need to clear some more trees out, but I may not. Look at all the room we got now. All right, let's clean all this stuff out. Start getting rid of all the buildings next. Blammo, nice. I love how we get charged for all this. And last of all, the house. Gonzo. And uh, you know what? We still have fences we got to get rid of here. So we can clean all these out as well. And I've got all that old dilapidated fence that goes all the way around this old farm. Kind of a, kind of a pain to clean all these out. But they got to go... I don't want these, but uh, once this is done, I think we're good to go, guys. We can start building. I think everything's cleaned. I think we're good. All right, silo is built. I want to put a bunch of uh, just smaller silos down along here just for, for seeds, for, for lime, for fertilizing. Uh, nothing too, too crazy, but probably uh, three or four of these. Okay, so there is the silo system. Everything's set up. We got our bulk fill over here. Of course, we got a little bulk uh, station over there, a little building for that. I want to put like a little fuel station now. I'm going to put a building down here for storage of some small pieces of equipment, some small tractors, kind of back in the corner here. I'm thinking you can also use the um, there's a loft on this building as well, which I'm kind of cutting off over here a little bit. I don't know if we're going to, be able to use that or not. I don't know if I need to use it, to be honest with you, either. So I'm going to put this back over in here, but then out in front, we want to put some fuel areas and use this as a fuel area, guys. So now that we have that, we have our fuel depot area. I want to put a little bit of a building down over here. It's kind of a drive through shop. So this is going to connect right back into the roadway system. It's eventually going to lead to our cattle area. Now we're going to keep on moving along. We're going to have some larger buildings down here. Of course, this is going to be our main house. So let's actually figure that out. Could be as that's going to be. Yeah, this is going to be the big, the big kahuna. This is going to decide a lot. Let's get rid of this. We need to start landscaping, guys. My plan is, you know me, we like to raise up everything. I want our house to be up. Everything's so flat down here. I want this raised at least a little bit. I think a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. So let's uh, see what we can figure out here. Let's get this so it's a little bit bigger. Clean this all up. Get rid of this. I think, let's see here. Like, what's going to be our height? I mean, I could go up to, like, that height right there. That's not too absurd, I would think. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe, like, right about, right about there. And then, okay, we'll flatten this on out. And we'll see... How much, how much space are we going to get here? Do I have to cut some trees down? Do we need to make this bigger? I might have to get rid of some of those trees. We'll see. All right, the mound is built. Uh, it's not overkill. I think it's actually reasonable. I thought about going absolutely overkill. I've done overkill in the past. Let's not do overkill. This we could probably work with. Now, I do need to build some kind of a pathway that kind of comes up here. So let's see if we can do that. I'm going to go to this height. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And we'll just see if we can kind of ramp this on up. There we go. Get it so it ramps on in something along those lines there. Okay, now I know it looks like garbage still. It's it's okay. It's, it has to look like this first. I need to figure out, I just needed a definition on where everything's going to be going. So from here on, I need to build this up and make this look better, of course. Now we have an idea based guidelines on where everything's going to be. Got a little bit of space up here to turn around. I think this might just be grass. I don't even know if I'm going to keep this yet. I might even move that down. I'm more worried about this area up here. The backside, we can't really see. So I'm not too concerned about what that looks like. I mean, you're going to be hard pressed to see anything up there. Once we color that in, throw some grass on there, throw some shrubs on it, you can't see it. But like areas like this is really what I'm worried about. This whole walkway here, because you're going to see that from pretty much everywhere. So I'm going to focus on my attention on that. And we're going to put some rocks up on this, guys. We're going to build this up uh, with a bunch of rocks, make it look pretty rustic, pretty rough. Now, the key is you don't want to be too far up because it's going to pop through there. But I do want to get it in so she's in nice and deep. And then you can stack these, which is even nicer. What happens now when I take the old landscaping brush out? Try and flatten this out. Not that much. Not that much. It does go over top, right? Yeah, it did too. Good, 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 good. Okay. So it's kind of landscaped over top of it. And you got some an out outcropping right there. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I like that. So this is probably a good time to remind you guys, if you haven't watched the first few episodes on this series, go back to the playlist. You can see how we got to uh, 11 million bucks, how we got to that point. 
what we did to get there. It was um, a lot of bailing, but I think you will enjoy it. Go check those videos out. I'll make sure there's a card up in the top for uh, the first video in the series. There's three videos before this one, so go check those out. But uh, this one here is all about the build today. Trying to find just the right way to make this mountainside look look proper. Like, look, that looks pretty good right there, I think. I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with how that's coming in together. Problem is, I don't want them to come out too far either. You want to make sure that uh, everything's coming around this corner, right? There you go. So that actually looks pretty good. It kind of built it on up around this corner. Everything has been painted that's into the ground. Of course, you can terraform after you've done put these down. So it's not like it's the, uh, the end of the line for you. There you go. So it's a lot of work right in there. I have to admit, there's a lot of rocks in here, but we're going to keep on building this up. I'm going to probably build this corner up so it's like this. But uh, that's going to be our driveway. Let me build it for a bit here. For the most part, house is done. Uh, for the most part, I mean, we have like a little bit of tweaking to do, some fencing, decorating. Everything's good there as far as the landscaping for the most part goes. But all right, next up, main shop. The main shop is going to be right, well, right in here. I need to clean some space though. We need a little bit of space gone in order to uh, to make it work up down below of us. It, there's just not enough space here. So let me clean some of the shrubberies back. And it'll make our shop look a little bit bigger, right? I'm, I'm really trying not to get rid of everything. I do want to keep some trees already in place. So I don't have to do it later on. And I can kind of use that to uh, to build around in a way. It kind of gives me a little bit of a guideline. So we've got a row of trees back here that are kind of just protecting the shop from the road. I think I'm going to leave those all alone. I'm all good. Yeah, I'd leave them alone. Especially the pine trees because they don't change, obviously, in the winter. They stay the same. So it kind of hides any defects that we might have put in our rock wall. All right, that should work. I think we've got enough space here for the main shop. Yeah, let's give that a shot. All right, main shop going in. Let's see if I wait on top of where I'm standing pretty much. Like I said, I don't want to be into the trees, but just out in front of that should do. That'll do perfectly. So it's back a little ways from the road here that goes by us. And then yeah, that'll work, guys. That's perfect. Lots of space out front to move equipment around. I like it. Now next door to this, where the old house was, I got a plan to put a tool bit, a tool shop right back here is my plan. We'll line it up with this building because it's the same, roughly the same dimensions. And then, uh, yeah, that'll look good. And then, of course, we've got to return all the fences that we knocked down. So, like I said, I want to find a way to make this different. Really don't like this. So, I do have to be mindful of our access points, of course. Probably a bridge here. Of course, we do have the main bridge that's already pre-built for us. And I'm probably going to do something right either here or here. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. But I need to... You know what? Maybe we should start with that. We should start by building this first bridge. So let's do that. And then we can go from there. So let's see here. What do we have for bridges? We don't have anything that's... That, just to use something very straightforward and simple. There we go. We'll go right there. We'll get rid of that tree in a bit. We've got a small bridge going across now. That's, that's fine. I'd like to build a lake or some kind of a... Can some of a pond? I don't know yet how this is going to work. I want to change the way that this is all diverts in here. I'm not a fan of how this looks right now, so I do want to change how this all works up. So first of all, I want to change how where the bridge is. The bridge can stay where it's at. I want to change the way the river flows up to it. And maybe we'll do it on both sides? Or just the one side? Maybe this side here. We can kind of change that up a little. A little bit yeah maybe a little bit we can change that and then from that on the back side of this we'll make a bit of a um, let's see here how can we do this if this is going to be the pond on this side because this will be smaller we'll have to build yeah we'll build a bit of a uh, of a creek that kind of flows out of this and into a bigger pond that's the plan okay, okay. i think I got, I got it started let's see what i can do
all right rocks are in place uh looking good pond is built to some point kind of changed my mind on something i still want to build some more hay storage over on this side oh well, we're getting there you got the large open cattle area you got a couple cattle barns over here you got some fermenting silos things are coming together now we do need to build just give it an idea what kind of roadways we're going to have here is what i'm doing right now we can build one right down the side here and then this is going to come around this way and then connect into these bridges so we're going to have one go this way one go up this way all right guys well <clears throat> that's it we got it down pat for the most part i've got a lot of decorating still to do but this is the brand new ranch on western wilds now our overall cost is about two and a half three million bucks no equipment yet of course so equipment still to come and we didn't get charged for landscaping of course either so you can infer what you want for that the ranch itself cost us almost three million dollars to build now the entryway you can see right here well i try to keep this open as much as possible so we have some room but the overall design you're going to notice the actual layout is very similar of course to what the original layout is i kept all the trees for the most part and we just built where we could around them immediately to the right you can see we've got our silo system with our bulk fill stations as well we've got some storage over here for some bulk goods and then just entryways onto a roadway system out here if we do need but yeah massive silo system this was the one single i think most expensive thing to build just past our silo system on the right we have a small drive-through shed this one just kind of connects actually to the back road here so you can drive right through this shed we can probably store whatever we want here from planters cedars whatever it might be across the road uh, on this one here you've got our fuel station and then a small building here and uh, this is going to be kind of for storing fuel type items is what i'm thinking like your fuel trailers maybe a fuel truck small fuel truck it does have a bit of a, a getaway Ooh, with some trees coming through upstairs which I do do love. And as we continue on, this was probably the biggest project, guys, building the house. I think it turned out pretty good. We've got rocks all the way around this house. It's up on a platform, probably, what, 30, 40 feet up in the air, maybe? And yeah, this house is up by itself up here. It's got the big deck off the back. And, well, we even have a lookout over there. More on that in a second. We'll look out that way later. As we leave the house, of course, we have, well, some parking with our mandatory basketball and we've got probably our main shop building now interesting thing about this particular building i didn't notice this is probably where i keep my combines large equipment that type of thing i didn't know this because from the outside it doesn't look like there's a door there but yeah guys there's a door on this side of this building um we'll use this as to be an air out a clean out area i obviously i'm not going to bring equipment down this side i kind of put the fence here to prevent that but it's there i'm just ignoring it you guys just ignore it's not really there now right next door to that we've got our main repair shop we've got some more parking down here for whatever suppliers whatever else might be but our main repair shop is in here nice open bays look at how nice and bright this place is and then lastly more of a small storage garage cool and cold storage area out here as well with a couple garage bays just before we head back to the main entryway so that's the the whole loop right there guys there's the main entryway we did the whole loop of the compound but of course, you guys know I built the animal area off to the back. So let's go take a look, see what that's looking like now. So most likely the main entryway from our farm is going to be, well, right about here. Now, like I said, I wanted to change the way that this little this little irrigation ditch performed. And we I think we did that. I think we, we definitely did that. Now it pipes through that rock canyon and then it comes back out into a large lake area. Now... Off to the left, if we go back over the water, there is a large shop. I plan on using that for hay storage, that type of thing. So this here is the an old cattle barn. It's only pretty small. It's only like 45 head of cows that fit in here. And we've got some storage up on top. And then, of course, we've got a fermenting silo right here. And then on the far side, of course, you've got the massive cattle barn uh, with the large, the large pasture that goes along beside it as well. So wide open pasture cattle are wandering everywhere out there we've put 60 head already in there it doesn't even look like there's any in there yet to be honest with you uh and then of course some more hay storage there so this side of the of the pond basically this side of the creek guys it's all cattle all the time now in case you were wondering yep you can swim through the creek and it brings you back out into uh where you need to go and then the other one goes all the way back out again and kicks back out around and you're back on the way out again now at one point there was remnants of a road right well pretty much here and if you look hard enough 
you probably still can find some evidence of it. There's certain spots you can't build in here. But you know what? I think we've hidden well enough. You're probably not going to know it unless you really look hard for it. And now we've got this awesome little walkway that walks across onto these rocks over top. And you can go to this lookout tower we've built all the way up on top here that looks over top your cattle area. I think this is pretty sweet. This is uh, a pretty cool little lookout area. I'm pretty happy the way this turned out. Now, this project actually turned out to be way bigger and way more ambitious than I kind of anticipated, guys. I did not plan on doing, well, all of what we just did down here. Let me just jump up on top. This kind of was my idea originally, the house and the main farm. This area and the way this water all worked out, this just kind of came to me and um, it ended up being a lot bigger, more difficult project than I expected. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun to do. We're going to start putting some equipment on this farm and maybe plow up some of the fields over in that neck of the woods over there. we got the money to do it now, so we'll get down to that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Drop a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe, of course. And I will put the card up for first one of the episode. If you guys want to see how we got to this point, click on that card and uh, go through the series. The playlist will have all the videos that, that list on how we got to this point. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll talk to you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.